Hello, welcome to Naresh Technologies. This is Sudhakar Sharma. In this video session, we are going to discuss about ASP.NET MVC Razor View Engine. In our previous videos, we discussed about what are view engines, what is the role of view engine and various types of view engines supported by ASP.NET MVC. In this session, we are going to learn about how do we design views. So, we are going to learn the basic syntax of Razor View Engine. Difference between various view engines that are discussed in another video. What are the view engines, how they work, what is difference between various view engines, you will find them in later videos. So, in this session, we are going to learn the basic syntax of Razor. Let us see how we can handle the Razor syntax. So, first, so a Razor engine, Razor engine syntax comprises of statements, comprises of statements presiding with the at the net, at the net character, character. So, the Razor statements that we generally write for server side are presided with at the net. So, a Razor view engine uses at the net as the character for representing the server side statements. So, how we will see. So, let us go to the visual studio. Here I have a home controller with index action and uh, a view by name index.cshtml. In this view, I will show you how do we write the Razor syntax. So, when we are defining the Razor syntax, our Razor syntax will preside with at the net character and we can define statements in three different ways. You can write inline expressions, you can write single line, single line expression or statement and uh, you can define multi line, multi line statement. So, the razor syntaxes are defined with a Dennett character and uh, you can define the razor code server side in inline expression, single line expression and multi line expressions. So, let us see what these three are, how inline expression is defined and how single line and multi line statements are defined. Yeah. So, I will switch to the view here. Generally, inline expressions are defined. So, by using at the net presided with at the net and whatever the syntax you want to configure. For example, here I am writing a paragraph and I am defining some sentence. So, welcome, welcome and uh, here I will write today and I need to display the current date and time. So, if I want to display the current date and time, I have to just define a server side function here, then my server side razor script presides with at the net and directly it can access any server side function. For example, I want to access the date function, I can access date time dot now dot to string. So, it will return the current date and time and it will use the date and time. These are inline expressions. So, in inline expression, so along with the other contents, we just use our server side functions presided with at the net. So, I am just using an at the net and calling the server side function. So, the result of this function will be returned along with the literal content. So, let us see how this works. We are requesting the home controller index action. This home controller index action have to return a view and you can see this is the view. 
and in the view we are defining an inline expression with some date. So, let us go into the design. So, here we will just put a header. So, stating that this is an inline expression, inline expression and refresh the syntax here and you can see these are inline expressions. So, an inline expression in a razor is presided with at the net and your server side functions. So, how do we configure inline expression? So, to configure the inline expression, you have to preside with at the net and you have to call your server side functions. You need to call your server side functions or any server side syntax, any server side object, any reference server side, you can access by using this, right. So, it can be a server side function, it can be a server side reference, reference. So, it can be anything that you want to access and display. You can use that by using simple at the net. These are inline expressions. Now, let us see how do we define a single line expression or single line statements. So, I will switch to the view and here I will put another header. So, let us see how to design single line statements or expressions. Single line statements, how do we configure single line statements? Usually, the single line statements are presided with at the net and a set of statement means a statement single line is defined within the flower brace. So, we have to define as a block and in this block, we need to configure the options. So, I am declaring a variable msg is equal to some string welcome to mvc, okay, and uh, presided with semicolon, we are declaring a variable. So, here server side, we have to represent in double quote a string representation, okay, fine. Now, you can declare multiple variables, suppose I am declaring where, so some uh, I said uh, weekday, fine and here the weekday is coming from uh, date time dot, so now dot. So, here we say day of week, we are accessing the day of week and we are displaying the day of week. So, in a single line we declared, we declared so multiple statements and we need to access and use them. So, how we can access and use these multiple options in a single line statement? Just below this, I will put a paragraph and here I have to display the message. We can access the message by using the at the net msg, okay. Below this, I want to display or along with this, I want to display some other content. So, so welcome to MVC and exclamation and here I am defining, so at the net weekday, weekday and here I will just put an option like today, so is this weekday. Now, let us run this and see. In a single line statement, you are defining all your declarations in a single line block, so that presides with at the net and the flower brace. Now, I am accessing and using this single line expression. You can see this is the single line expression. In single line statement, so we are configuring all in one line and we can access and use wherever we want inside the view. So, these are single line statements. Now, let us see how we can configure multi line statements. If I want to configure multi line statements, I will just put another header and let us say multi line statement. 
To configure multi-line statements, we have to handle the expressions like this. You have to define at the net and open the brace and you can span your code into more than one line. So here we can define the options like uh, where so user name is equal to some variable value and we want to declare some more suppose uh, where so join year is equal to so we have to get date time dot uh, now dot uh, so we have to get year number and display that year number. So we are accessing uh, we are configuring multi lines and uh, here I need to print those values in a paragraph I have to say hello and that username we can access that by using at the net your username is a reference and uh, so hello user you joined you joined joined so on so uh, the date so suppose I say it some 28 so August and here I need to get the year number so here I will just put an join year reference yeah of course you can get the date complete value here I am just printing the year number and displaying and I will save this and I will access and you can see a multi line statement expression displays information in this way. So inline expressions are directly defined directly defined with at the net followed by your server side references and functions. Single line expression or statement will preside with at the net and the logic has to be defined in the brace declarations so your uh, code your code declaration declaration your code rendering rendering everything can happen here in multi line statement blocks right in multi line statement blocks we need to configure at the net at the net and uh, open and you can define your multi line statements here your multi line blocks block statements configured here. So you can configure your statement and close the block. So the first important point in razor view we have to know how to configure the razor syntax. So we have inline expressions, we have single line expressions and multi line expressions. Let us see what else we can configure in the razor syntax. Mm -hmm.